Salatidoscopuli. Um, today's lesson is a very short lesson on the difference between transitive and intransitive verbs. Um, there's not a paradigm that goes along with this. This is simply a concept that you should know about as we approach more and more verbs, okay? This is, by the way, our third video in Latin for the New Millennium. Um, a transitive verb is any verb that can take a direct object, right? Um, so, for example, um, to hold, right, or to teach. I teach what? Latin. I teach who? Students. Um, this verb, I have a dog. I have a house. Um, any of these verbs can take a direct object. And since they can take a direct object, since they are transitive verbs, they can be made into the passive voice, okay? And I have ex some examples here. Docere, um, to teach. Fermare, to strengthen. Dare, to give. Habere, to have. You can make these verbs into sentences with a direct object. Therefore, an intransitive verb is any verb that cannot take a direct object, okay? So no way for it to have a direct object, it just can't have one. Um, these verbs cannot be made into the passive voice, okay? And this makes a lot of sense, right? Because when you have an active sentence that you wanna make into a passive, you take the direct object and make it the subject. You make the verb passive, and then you uh, make the subject of the active sentence the ablative of agent. Well, if you can't have a direct object, there's nothing you can make into the subject. Therefore, you have an intransitive verb, okay? Some examples of intransitive verbs, of course, esse and posse, they don't take direct objects. Um, yakere, to lie down, right? You can't lie down something, right? Um, and manere, to remain. You can't remain something, right? You can't remain someone. So since these verbs cannot take um, a direct object, they cannot be made passive and therefore are intransitive verbs. And that's it, that's all. That's the difference between a transitive and an intransitive verb. Okay, take good notes. I will see you in class and have a lovely evening.